Hi, in this quick tutorial I'll show you how to use tax, how to set it up on PayPal account and how to use it on, on the actual checkout. Uh, I went to the profile of the account and pro accounts will have a different uh, different layout here and this link may not be present uh, so what I will do I will post this link that appears here if you can see it in the description of the video so we can directly access this section from that link it will require login so I'm clicking value added tax the verbiage is dependent on the local in your local it can be tax or GSD depending on your country but the section is, is basically laid out the same domestic tax rates let's add one this UK account so that's the default country, I can't change it. Let's set up 10% for the sake of the tutorial. Apply rate to postage amount. This is important if you charge postage on your on your purchase and you want and you want the postage amount to be taxed as well. Okay, I have 10% tax rate for UK. Let's set up new tax for a different country perhaps. Um, Greenland and let's set it to 20 and this in this case I will apply the rate because I will demonstrate later on how it changes okay so we have both rates set up that's pretty much all we need from the seller side of the account now what we'll do, we'll test the functionality. So what I have here is a link to Sandbox site. It's a payment link. It's a buy now button with amount 100 that will, that will be used for our test. I'm copying the link, opening a new tab, pasting the link in, just pasting it in the address bar. And let's test it. Okay, so there's some sort of shipping and handling, handling added. Uh, it, it is set up in the account, this is irrelevant, but the test tax doesn't show at this stage. So some some people will actually ask, well, what was the story with it? I added the tax and it's not showing. Well, PayPal has to know where you're from before it actually applies the tax. As you noticed, we were setting tax for a specific country. So we need to tell PayPal what country we're in. Um, let me log in with an account and this is another UK account and it should add tax ok, so you can see it added 10% tax on top of 100 but it didn't charge tax on the shipping now let's see if we can change address to Greenland Greenland okay 12 test street mm. Greenland. Obviously, this is a test environment, so so these values won't be checked. I should get away with adding this this address. And 10% tax was actually charged on shipping. Well, approximately 10%, obviously. So this is how to use tax. Another problem that may occur: some shopping carts will add their own tax value. For example, like that, tax equals 20 would simply be adding 20, 20 euro on top of on top of the amount, and tax rate. If I remember the variable correctly, let's just make it 30, so so it's clearly visible. 
I'm pasting the link in again. Okay, and what's it doing? It's overriding whatever I had set in the profile and just adding 30% tax. This probably doesn't show very well because I've, uh, I have a uh, uh, amount 100. Let's change the amount to, to 10. And there we go. Tax is still 30%. Let's try using tax variable. There's the tax variable and let's set tax 30 for amount 10. This would be a pretty steep tax even for current standards. And it still goes through. If you try to do something like that in PayPal account, it probably wouldn't work. Let's just try to set domestic tax rate to 300% and see what happens. Ah, 100% tax. Well, it's still quite steep ceiling, ceiling percentage. But this wouldn't work, obviously, in... Um, this wouldn't work in a PayPal account setting. So this concludes this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.